Hey, what's up? This is Steve. I'm gonna see if I can do this one while I'm driving. I do a lot of video while I'm driving, but this one's a little heady. So, business finance major with a minor in math, did financial services for a while, but I wanna call the bluff on a theory I have about mathematics and multiplication. Negative times a negative, what is the answer? But before that, we're gonna start with positive times a positive equals a positive. I get that. Negative times a positive equals a positive. Sorry, equals a negative. I get that. Negative times a negative equals a positive. I do not get that. I think I think in science they just need something structured. They need some evidence that makes it clear, and then all of a sudden just just people accept it. I mean, every once in a while they push past the consciousness of the current situation. But what I'm saying is a negative times a negative can equal a positive, and can equal a negative. It depends on what negative is times what negative. Not only in mathematics, but in life. When you're in a situation, think about what the actual tangible results of what's going on for the negatives that you're going. Now that I think about it, you can have two positives and that times two positives together and that can equal a negative if it creates a big ego and you get set in your ways just like science gets set in their ways a lot like we get set in our ways and we get too comfortable with all the positiveness that we're not able to take a negative times a negative and turn it into a positive peep that motherfuckers